Hi there, today we're talking about people who are addicted to giving their money to rich people who do not need their money and are scamming them out of their money, aka gambling addicts. Now let me preference this by saying I'm not bashing gambling addicts because they're addicts, um, I'm not bashing them for an addiction. However, I do want to demonstrate the dangers and the fact that gambling addiction is pretty much almost just like drug addiction. It can be just as bad in some cases, especially in some of these ones I'm about to show you. So, enough of the yapping, let's get into it. $72,000 if I pick the right pig. $123.52 if I completely ab abort the mission. Seven, six, Basically, next pig is one of these four bonuses. The question is, which pig? I like that he himself is not even sure exactly how the game works. He's like trying to explain it and he himself cannot make sense of it. So if you pick this bonus, you get the thousand dollars. If you back out, you get a hundred dollars. Pick a pig. DJ, which pig? Sign. You pick it. I don't know. The dollar sign. They all have a dollar sign. And a red hat. It's on you. Whatever or the red need. hat. All right. Well, look, do you think they put three minis in a row? I don't know. Ooh, I don't like that one. You don't like that? No. Nah. So this one? Yep. Make it a grand. How much is that? Seventy-two grand. Oh, I got it. All right, ready? One, two, three. I'm scared. Four. Go. Fire! <laughs> Mini. You just won 120 bucks. Yeah. Side bet. Now that right there is what I call dedication to the craft and game. He sat there and placed a bet on his bet. He won $120 from losing. That's the mentality you gotta have. It's not an addiction. It's a dedication. And more importantly, it's a mentality. Of course I come to the casino every day. I got a gambling addiction. Of course I say I'm only gonna gamble a hundred dollars. I got a gambling addiction. Of course I say once I lose my hundred dollars, I'm gonna go home. But instead I go to the ATM. I got a gambling addiction. Of course my mortgage isn't paid. I got a gambling addiction. Of course my children think Hamburger Helpers for me. I have a gambling addiction. When my partner asked me where the thousand grand from our bank account went last night, I simply tell him I don't know. Now I did choose to kind of keep her name out of the TikTok because she at the very least isn't promoting gambling or anything like that. She does talk about how it's an addiction and a problem. And if she's bettering herself, she's at least spreading awareness to an extent. So that's why I don't want to have her page and so people can go over there and say anything. Dude, nice hit, man. I've been watching you for a while. You haven't hit shit yet. Let's go. Come on. Come on, sir. This is it. I feel like the last thing someone who is a gambling addict would want to hear is Damn, you haven't hit shit. I've been watching you for a while and you have not hit shit. That's just is gonna keep him going. On top of the hype you're already giving him by being like, Let's go, come on, come on, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit, you're gonna get it. You're just making this dude waste his money. I mean, he was probably gonna do it regardless, but like, don't encourage it. Holy shit, dude! You're getting fucking teabagged again. Scrape it! Scrape that motherfucker! Scrape that shit, Johnny! Dude! I wanted to ask you a question real quick. At what point in your life did things start to go downhill and you realize you would be here strung out on the slot machines? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad for old Johnny there. He was all fucking excited as fuck after he won that. Even the guy was trying to, like, was 
pretending to hype him up. He fist bumped him and shit. He was like, let's go, Johnny. Good shit. And then he proceeds to fucking ask him that. You're not wrong. I wouldn't necessarily say you're wrong for asking. However, you did do him dirty. However, he also does not have any thoughts between those eyes. Thoughts? Each one of those little slams is essentially as being like, here's my money, here's my money, here's even more money. This is what the direct equivalent of that is. Here's my money, here's my money, take it. You guys tell me. Out. How much does Steve owe on, uh, on, uh, on the slots? Nick slots? I think it was like 10 grand. Let me double check. How much? I think it was only 10, but let me double 10, check. 10,000? Unless I check. Ten th he spent 10000 on slot machines? Today. How the fuck is that even? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do you spend 10000 on slot machines? Don't put it on me! Don't put it on me! Why am I getting back? We're good. I've never even heard of such a fucking thing. You know it's crazy when even Dana White's a bit shocked. Dana's saying like, 10k, that's more than I pay my fighters. If that's impossible, I've never heard of that. As far as Dana White knows, nobody other than him can have more than 10k at a time. He pays his fighter about a dime and a nickel every fight. In Dana mind, he's like, 10,000? That's more than I beat my own wife! Now that we've taken a look at these gambling addicts, from all types of people, to all types of wealth, I've devised a song dedicated to them. Say so, does the house win? I say no, cause I get to gamble every single day, ho. That's my dedication to the fucking game, yo.